The dream of creating a new business district in Benson moved one step closer to reality today. They've secured funding to complete renovations. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us live from Benson with the latest. Jake? Well, Jen, private business owners have put a lot of money into a lot of these buildings along this business district and entertainment district, but this is what they deal with right outside their doors. See, check these out. Uh, you know, they're hoping like things like this will be changing pretty soon. With the business growth, the nighttime growth, the bar growth, the food growth, uh, it's been really good. John Larkin has put hard work, money, and his passion into the Benson Business District for more than eight years when he opened Jake's Cigar and Spirits. He recently moved Beercade to a larger location next door and opened up St. Andrews. He's hoped to see the city improve the streetscape for a while and glad it's coming soon because Benson is all about small business owners with big dreams. It's not one big corporation that decided to pack out a big chunk of land and put in a giant development and get all those tax breaks. We've done it all without the help of the city, so it is nice for them to kick in here at this point once they've seen uh, what we've done on our own. Be an example of where we city Council President Pete Festerson here. says they've secured $1.3 million to finish the Benson Business District renovation. It will widen sidewalks and curbs. They'll also add new landscaping and traffic calming intersections on Maple between 59th and 63rd and along Military. Yeah, well, there is some dangerous spots on the street here that do need to be corrected in terms of the public infrastructure. And what we found is if we invest a little bit in the public infrastructure, the private sector really responds to, and that's what's happening here in Benson to create jobs and have a great thriving business district. The east entrance to the Benson District was recently renovated, but business owners are excited to see the improvements on their doorstep, literally. We pushed this money to the sidewalks, which are in dire need of some help. They're uh, pretty dangerous out there as it is right now, and this really will help with the walkability of the neighborhood. Now, Festerson says that these types of renovations have also been done in the Florence and Dundee areas. They will be having public hearings so they can still get some input on what's going to be happening here, but they expect to start seeing some construction happening next year. Reporting live from Military and Maple in Benson, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, very, very positive. Thanks, Jake. A neighbor.